So since we started building this search detail component, we started thinking like, well, maybe this search function will search through our videos, right? So that's actually what we're gonna be building towards. And we can actually go back to the video detail and go through here and search that way. Or we could go through the video list component and copy this and search that way. But what you'll notice is it's pretty similar. Um, actually, it's roughly identical. They all use um, the HTTP module and they just have some slight variations in them. Now, if you're using a backend service, you're probably not gonna have to do filter in this way. I mean, maybe you do, but um, you're likely gonna be building some sort of way that your videos connect with your backend service on a sort of uniform way. So that means whether I'm getting a list of them or getting an individual item of them or creating them, editing them and doing all those things, like you're gonna need some sort of system to do that. And that's what we're gonna do in this one. I'm gonna make a new folder inside of my app and I'm gonna call it videos. And then inside of here, I'm gonna make a new service called videos.service.ts. Okay, so this service is really what we're gonna to use to actually generate the needed code to run our like redundant methods or the methods that we use over and over again. Now you can use generate, so ngg service and videos. This will generate the same sort of thing, but it has some of the standard default stuff. So I'm gonna just go ahead and copy that and bring it in to video service and I'll delete these files here, or actually I'll copy the spec file here. So videos.service.spec.ts, paste that in there and I'll delete this other one. Okay, so what you notice is it didn't actually add anything. So it must be provided to be used. So that's an important warning to know because you might see some errors and not really know what's going on. So instead of calling it videos service, I'll call it video service. As, so that's actually what I want it to be called. And again, video service everywhere I see videos service. So this is just the testing code, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Instead, what I wanna do is actually create a video service um, just in general on how this is gonna work, right? So one of the first things is I want to import HTTP from Angular slash HTTP. And in our constructor, we're going to do private HTTP and it's HTTP. This shouldn't look that new to us. Another thing I want to do is actually add in a constant and we're going to add it in as our endpoint. And this endpoint is gonna be relative to the video. So in our case, we're gonna have it as videos.json, right? So if we come in here, this is our actual endpoint that we'll be using. But if you're using an HTTP service, it would be like yourdomain.com slash API slash videos, something like that. So of course the entire domain, that would be your actual endpoint. But in our case, we're using this. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna define a method and I'll just call them list. So listing out all of the items. You could say get, um, but I'm gonna say list. So again, it's listing out all of the items. Now, how do we list them out before? Well, this was the call right here. So this is what we'll do. But instead of using this, we'll use the endpoint. Notice I don't have to do this dot endpoint because it's outside of the class itself and it's really not gonna change. Now, if you wanted to keep it in the class, you absolutely can and you would just say this dot endpoint. Either way is fine. I'm gonna use this because this is something that I might end up changing later. Okay, so I'm gonna get this endpoint and in fact, list, I need to return it. So this is a method that we're gonna call and we want to return this specifically but I wanna return it in a different way. That is, I wanna actually return the observable so I don't have to subscribe and unsubscribe to it in the service. 
I do it in the actual view. So let's go ahead and import some stuff here to make this happen. First of all, we'll import um, rxjs slash add slash operator slash map. Now there's a chance that these two imports might change just to keep that in mind. rxjs add operator catch. So those two imports allow us to run a couple methods and if I actually hit enter and do dot map response equals to the fat arrow response dot JSON and then dot catch. And we want to actually create a handler for catching some sort of error. I'm actually not going to do a whole lot of error catching stuff here, but I will say private handle error and it's going to take in error any and caught also any. And then we'll just console log error and caught. And the type of this is any as well. So it might return something, but we're just going to leave it as this. Okay. So catch then is going to be this dot handle error. So this is what's passed into catch and, and that's essentially handling whatever error may come about with this call. I'm going to tab this in just so it looks a little bit closer to what that code is. And there we go. So we now have this injectable service that we can use to actually bring in to our any component and just use it. So let's bring it into our video list component. And what I'm going to do now is import video service from dot dot slash videos slash videos dot service. Okay, so we've got this video service now and it is actually different from these other ones. So what I'm going to do here is go to providers and add video service. So this provider allows me to then use the video service in here. And we'll say private underscore video video service. Okay, so now instead of all of this, I'm just going to do this dot video dot list and now have subscribe come through. Going to go ahead and save it. Make sure everything's compiled by doing ng serve. Let's let that load for a second. So again, we are going to import. We're going to first off create our service. This is fairly straightforward as to what's happening. It's still doing that same call and then we need to import it use it as a provider. If you do not use it as a provider, you will have an error, but it's not necessarily gonna say exactly what that error is. And then we add it in our constructor, just like HTTP. And then we just call it very, very similar to HTTP. So we're calling the actual constructed video service and then the method list, and it returns an observable. So we can still treat it as an observable, but there's gonna be a few things here. Catch does not exist on type. So we're getting a little error on the service itself. So let's go back into the service, take a look at it. And we need to make sure that this is here and that's fine. So catch should be handling it just fine. Let's go back into our detail list. First thing is the data is not .json, but just data now. So because we transformed it in the service, right? So we transform it right here. So let's go ahead and add this map and catch. These should be fine. Let's go back and here's our error. We have an import error as it says uh, right here. Cannot resolve that. So we save that and it's building and it compiles. It'll just be fine. So operator was spelled incorrectly. Um, I, I just want to point out how awesome Angular is in this sense. It shows you really good errors. So traceback is fairly straightforward. Okay, so now that we've got that, all everything else is good. Um, I did remove that .json. So that is still important because of this. If that wasn't there, then we would still do it. Okay, so let's go back into our list and take a look. So we'll go back into our video homepage. So that's not actually where our list is, but it is under videos. And we look, our videos are still there. Very cool. 
So that means that I can get rid of HTTP all around. I don't need it anymore. So I actually can get rid of that import. So it cleans up my actual detail or the component itself. And now that we've got that, let's go ahead and import this into my detail component as well. Again, I, I could get rid of the HTTP, but we'll do that after we get it all working. So we'll say providers. And this is video service. And again, we'll do private and video. And here, instead of this.get, we'll do this.video.list. In this case, I'm keeping list because I still want to filter down and then I, got, I can get rid of .json and there we go. And I still want this portion, which I didn't actually set up, but I want this to be this dot request because we see subscribe, it's still considered an observable. So I do want it to actually be up to that. So when we destroy it, it goes away. And that same thing is true with video list, which it was already there. I can get rid of this console log. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so we've got that. And looks like I have a little error somewhere in here. So video list, it's saying 10 and three. So row 10 providers, we need a comma there. Okay, so now if I click on any individual item, it's giving me that item as we initially expected. So how do we actually create this to being a better call? Like what if I just said get, and it's essentially gonna return the data that it returns is literally just that one single item. So let's go into video service, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy list again, paste it underneath, and we'll just say get, and we'll add in a slug here. So how do we actually do this? Well, it's, it's similar to what we've already seen. So if we go back into that detail, we've got this filter here. So I'm gonna come back and use filter. I'm gonna just copy this portion. Come back and use filter on the response that's gonna be returned. Now to do this, it's a little tricky. So let's go ahead and make some more spaces here. And I'll just say let data equals to data response JSON, right? Now I wanna go a little bit further than that and say filter, so that same filter, so I'll just do dot filter is the one I copied over. And let's tab that in. Um, this is the item, but really I wanna return this item now. Okay, so let data equal to this response, it's filtering it down and we can console log the data and we will return the data. So this is now our git. Now, if you were using anything but JSON, like a list of JSON, then you probably wouldn't do it like this. You would probably have an endpoint specifically for that item or use the slug inside of that endpoint. So you would probably say plus slug and then that response JSON would work fine. It would look just like this, but I don't have that. So here it is. Let's go back into our video detail component, obviously making sure everything's in there. And instead of video list, we do git, and then we use this.slug, being this. And now we don't have to filter our data, but rather this.video equals to data. Or at least that's intuitively what I think it would be. Okay, so I use this variable because I wanna return it, right? Basically I'm saying this, this response is gonna be this then. It's mapping to that, right? Uh, and just like this item is being mapped to whether or not it's one of these slugs, whether, whether it is in this condition. Now on our video detail before, we didn't have to return anything because we just set it to that video. That's pretty much it. Okay, so back into that service, we now have this and we are console logging the data. So let's make sure we have no more console logs. I just wanna see the one, ideally just one console log. So let's go back in and we see slug does not exist on video service. So let's go back into video service and it is not this.slug, but rather the past argument of slug. So let's get rid of that. Refresh in there and there we see that it says welcome. Okay, so it's actually giving us 
uh, that was a little error, so I refreshed it, and it's giving us an array of one item. So there's one more thing I want to do is then say if data dot length equals to one, then we're going to return data zero. Otherwise, we'll just return nothing. So like it wasn't found. I refresh in here, and now it's actually showing welcome. Uh, and that object is still lo logging as a console because that data is right here. And this right here is obviously just getting that first item inside of that array. Because filter filters down an array, it brings back an array, it doesn't do a single object. So now we have a better get function to get any specific item. So just a couple things of like playing around with how a service actually works. So back in that video detail component, I can probably get rid of the HTTP. Let's look in here and see if I have it anywhere else. I do not. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of HTTP from the video detail. And now I can also get rid of all my comments here. And things are starting to look a lot cleaner as it relates to this. So if I refresh in here and go to some video that does not exist, again, I get an empty object in here, so there's nothing. The video is still nothing. And that is, of course, why I actually returned this. Um, of course, if it's on your server, it would probably be an error, and that error would show up in this handler. Okay, so if you have any questions on what we did on this service, let us know. We will come back to doing more of this. And the reason I brought it in here in the first place has to do with the next portion. Again, if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.